National Institute of Technology is a team of 22 undergraduate students from different disciplines working on the mass rover prototype. We have been working on this rover since 2017 and have participated in Indian Rover Challenge 2018. After several months of hard work and dedication, we are excited to unveil the second edition rover, Solar 64. The focus this year is to design a rover which is lighter and sleeker. We have optimized all our designs and have also implemented safety subsystems for all our systems. Here's the overall overview of our design system and functionality of Solar 64. The mechanical system of Solar 64 consists of three major modules, designing, fabrication and assembly. This year, the rover design comprises of a four-wheel drive with spring suspensions for each wheel providing flexibility to the system. The rover suspension system consists of various tension springs combinations tuned to get the right compromise for the smooth traversing over the terrain. The motors are mounted inside the wheels to avoid any potential damage to the motors due to obstacles. This also helps to maintain a low center of gravity and stability of the rover. Lightweight customized wheels are manufactured to provide good traction with the ground surface. Solar 64 is equipped with a manipulator having 5 degrees of freedom. The manipulator is capable to reach objects at height up to 1.8 meters from the ground. The linear actuators enable manipulator to lift objects up to 5 kilograms of the weight. The end effector is designed to achieve good grip and handle objects with wide range of shapes and sizes. Various test analyses were performed on the design to improve structural strength and overall performance of the system. Aluminum sections are used to get lightweight chassis with good strength. Learning from our past experience, this year, electronics and communication team focused on long-range communication and compact hardware design. ARM-based architecture, Raspberry Pi, and Arduino Mega Controllers have been used to operate the robot. Motors are in open loop configuration and feedback from linear actuators is used to determine the position of the PID algorithm has been implemented to guide the manipulator in default position. Object detection algorithms have been implemented on ARM. UART is used to communicate between RPI and controllers. Readily available off the side components like battery level indicator, use voice, and different voltage protection circuits have been implemented to protect the rover in excellent conditions. Three 12 volt repo batteries, along with the voltage converter and polarity protection, are used to power all the onboard components. Two different frequency bands, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, are used for communication between ground station and rover. RC832 and TS832. Transmitter and receiver modules are used for live video. Keeping in mind the diversity of tasks and versatility of Solar 64, we chose ROS software because of its enhanced adaptability for such systems. Autonomous task is carried out using navigation stack of ROS, which utilizes combination of filtered data collected from precise and well-tested GPS and IMU devices. For perceiving the environment and various obstacles present in it, Kinect is used because of its features like depth measurement developed for such tasks. OpenCV library along with Python utilities is used for image processing and object recognition. This is achieved using image segmentation and HSV color space making it robust to lighting variations. Used for perceiving the environment and data from onboard instrumentation for analyzing and selecting appropriate tasks with potential biological aspects supporting microbial life. Manipulator is equipped with 3D printed end effector which is capable of collecting soil samples up to a depth of 50 to 70 mm. The storage containers which will be used for collecting the soil samples are designed to be airtight. Rover is equipped with sensors for measuring parameters like temperature, pressure and air is monitored for the presence of benzene, alcohol and other gases, the data is transmitted to the control station and a GUI is designed for displaying these data. Wide angle panorama image is created stitching three images together using OpenSea. As all of our modules are completely functional, we would be working on making our system semi-autonomous and improve the designs and algorithms. We would be testing our rover in simulated and realistic environment to improve the performance and functionality of Solar 64.